just kind of roll with the punches here. All right, so here's the deal. Tomorrow we start the push-pull swing challenge, and hopefully you guys can see this. So here are these lovely little sheets that you get to print out, and each day, so for example, tomorrow, it shows you to do a push and pull for 10 reps total and swing for 40 reps. Okay, so this can look like a lot of things. A lot of you have many questions. So let's just start with the absolute beginning. And before I get into it, just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, just want to make sure you guys can hear me. And I'm assuming you can. All right, now, going back. So for example, you don't have to be able to do a push-up for 10 reps, okay? Your push can be anything that has to do with training. For example, it can be a press, okay? You can do a press. Of course, this will be each side, okay? So if we're going to do one side at a time, it needs to be 10 each side. But like I said in the directions, it does not have to be complete at once okay so this is how it's going to work and i was going to do a share screen and unfortunately um, facebook is not allowing me right now which is totally fine so what i would do so for example say i'm going to do a say i'm just getting started in push up say i push up is my goal i really want to get a push up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find a higher surface as shown over here okay so say you're just getting started on your push up journey and you need something really high, like here, or a countertop, totally fine. It doesn't matter because you need to be able to keep the pelvis tucked, glutes tight, shoulders down, all those things need to happen, um, which will make your push-up really strong. Don't cut corners here. So say, for example, you can maybe do about three reps, okay? So this is your, say, this is where you're starting your push. And so say you can do only three reps at a time. Great, no problem. So what you'll do is you'll do three reps, and then you'll write down three elevated push-ups, okay? Then after that, so you, you'll, uh, I'm not gonna write on these, but just giving you guys an option, okay? And then next, you gotta choose a pull. So, couple options. You can do lots of things. You can do rows, okay, pull. And say you want to also just do three each side to get started. Okay, so this is one option for a pull. So you don't have to be able to do a pull-up. There's lots of options. Of course, you can knock out three pull-ups with a band, or you can do three rows. Okay, three nice and slow rows to make it really challenging because you're only going to do three if you choose. Okay, so then you'll write down, you'll go to your paper, and you'll write down rows on this next line, and you'll put a three, okay? And then after that, there's 40 swings that you need to do in the day. So say we want to start with 10 swings, okay? So you'll go ahead and do your 10 swings, okay? Now for those that are not quite ready for swings yet, no worries, you can go into 10 deadlifts, okay? And I have lots of videos on getting you started. But these three exercises are just so awesome, G getting your push, pull, and swing, it'll really balance things out for you, okay? So then once you're finished, so say you have, now we have three, three, and then 10 swings, obviously we need to get seven more of everything, right? seven more of the pushes and pulls. So you can divide that in however you choose. So say you're getting a little, you, you can make that into four sets. You can go three, 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 and one. Okay, you can go three, four. However you choose, you'll just write it down. So you put your push on this line. You'll put your pull on this line, whatever it may be. And then you'll, your swing's here. I suggest putting the weight down. And then you can take some notes. And then you're done with day one. You can go ahead and post that into the Facebook group that we have. We have about 3,000 people in there. We'd love to see um, where you are. I mean, people are starting from ground zero. Some people are starting from all over the place. I mean, we've got literally brand new people joining us who have never touched a kettlebell in their entire lives. 
and we've got people who've been doing this for 20 years. So some people, um, they can't even do a push-up against a wall. No issues. Let me show you. Instead of push-ups, just work on, I mean, literally, no matter where you're starting, just start. So if even if, if going down is too much for you, just hold an elevated plank and just work on shoulder protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction, and do that instead for now. And then as the weeks go by, so this is the first week, so you're just four times. And it might take you 10 to 15 minutes this week, okay? Then, and you'll make a little check mark in the little kettlebell, how fun is that? And then the next week, the reps start creeping up a touch, okay? And you can keep the exact same progression, okay? Because the reps are going up, I'm not asking you to make your progression harder. And I'm gonna guide you throughout this. I'm doing this with you guys. So my personal pushes are gonna be ring dips. I don't expect everyone to be able to do that. So, but some people really just wanna get, say a one arm push up or a weighted push up or being able to put your feet on a box or just being able to do a push up against an elevated surface. It does not matter. We're all in this together and we're all trying to improve. I don't care where you're starting from. Literally, no judgments whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna keep checking back. So I am gonna open this for questions fairly soon here, but I wanted to continue. Okay, so no judgments whatsoever. Now, the swing reps, as you'll notice, they do go up quite a bit, okay? But don't, don't get scared. So day seven, as you can see, it's 100 reps, okay? 100 reps, that's day seven, that's second week. You can divide that into 10 sets of 10, okay? Or you're doing deadlifts. You can also take as much rest as you need. For my advanced people, you may wanna jam it out really quickly or you might be working on a really hard lift, okay? So for example, I'm gonna be working on my false grip pull-ups and my dips. 100 swings are gonna be a lot for me that day, so I'm gonna personally need to really divide this out into many sets. So it might take me more than 15 minutes that day, but if you're going really light and just, just doing this just to have fun, then you can jam this out much quicker. Okay, I really want you to approach this as practice and something fun. Now, I've had quite a few questions about people currently doing, let me check on my live here. I've had quite a few people currently already doing um, a program already okay so if you're in the middle of the program but you don't want the FOMO you don't want to miss out you can still do this and let me let me give you some examples so for example we've got um, probably a couple hundred people right now focused on the B slam remastered so is that program amazing on its own absolutely you really you don't really need to do this if you're doing B slam remastered however you can do it and you can do it with success, okay? Because I do know quite a few people who just literally love these challenges so much. Okay, so let's discuss how you can do that with a program. So for example, let me bust out my B-Slam Remastered, which this, this still will apply to you even if you're not doing B-Slam Remastered, just to give you an idea. So for example, this is one of the programs you'll find in B-Slam Remastered, okay? And there's quite a few push-ups that day, all right? And so if for some reason you're doing strength one and you're doing all these swings, well, you're gonna knock out, you know, find your progression and you're gonna knock out. So for example, if there's say 30 push-ups and, um, you know, 50 swings, I want you to, and we're starting day one, okay? I want you to count all that towards your push-up. So you basically already did your challenge just by showing up for strength one. Now, that's, th that's probably a decent example, but there's gonna be some programs in there that you do that days that are not push-up oriented. Um, so for example, there's a row day and there's, no p and there's no swing. So count your rows towards that pull, push, pull, swing challenge. However, 
You can, and you can count your one-armed swing. We're not going to give the whole thing away here because you guys paid some big bucks for that one. Um, but you can, again, so you can count that. And then if there's, if you didn't get the push in that day, then you'll go ahead and do the push separately. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, very cool. Yeah, so this is really to show you that anybody can do it. And I left a link underneath or above on this comments here, not the comments, but the description of this video to show you, you can log in for free. Okay, it's totally free, yep. And you can just print these out. There is a sample page. You can download it, you can print them, you can print them from your phone, print them from your computer. If you have issues, let me know. Um, everyone seems to be able to do these okay. Uh, these will not be available starting uh, tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon is really the last time you can log in because I'm going to be closing registration down because once, even if you are unable to start tomorrow or Tuesday, get the sheets. Maybe this will be your May challenge for yourself. It is kind of fun to do it with other people and be in the trenches because we're all going to be in the trenches together having a good time. And when you're picking your push-pull swing challenge, your push and your pull and your swing or your deadlift and trying to approach which weights you want to use, remember the reps are going up, okay? So I don't want you to pick something that you can barely get one rep with, okay? So we're not here to pick our 100% maximal. I want you to maybe go at it 60% at the most because this is going to go up quite a bit. So when you're picking, what you're going to do, don't start with like this really hard press where you can just barely get one rep in. Otherwise, you're going to just completely burn yourself out. Start s with something that you know, like for example, I know I can do, you know, if you know you can do 10 push-ups on the ground, fabulous, then maybe that might be, it might be too easy just to start with one rep of a push-up. Okay, so if you know you can do 10 right away, anytime, any place, maybe you start with something a little harder. Maybe you put your feet on a box to make your push-up harder, or maybe you get a set of rings and you do some ring push-ups. Uh, and I'll show you, I'll turn this around. Let's see here. There you go. So maybe you do some ring push-ups um, to make it a lot harder for yourself. And so say you can only do three to four, stay tight. Okay, so that will then make this more of a challenge for you. Okay, so I've showed, let me turn this back around. So I've showed what, how to make it really simple for anybody getting started and how to make this really challenging for people who've been in the game of fitness for years. Now, I am OCD when it comes to form and technique, as many of you who've been following me for many years know. And so if you're going to choose a push-up that makes yourself look like this, I'm going to show you what we do not want to see, okay? Please do not force yourself into a push-up, okay? So if your push-up looks like this, okay, then you need to go back to the drawing board and raise your, and make it a little easier on yourself because the push-up, tuck your pelvis, it needs to be a tight moving plank throughout the whole journey, okay? It needs to be tight the whole time. Same with the pull-up. If you're choosing a pull-up, we don't want this half stuff. That does not count as a rep. So if you're not quite at that strict pull-up yet, use an assistant, okay? Use your feet, jump up, um, and then work on the negatives. Only practice perfect reps because you'll be absolutely pleasantly surprised when you see what happens from day one to the 16th session you are going to be incredibly amazed. I cannot tell you how many people, if you follow this, okay, if you follow this and you don't get ahead of yourself, 
and you slow it down and you feel the perfect form, regardless of what level you're starting with, you are going to be a lot stronger in just four weeks. So if you are ready to be a ton stronger, go ahead, join us for no charge for free. Hello, how much fun is that? The only thing you've got to lose is nothing, really. Um, you are gonna gain so much out of this. I can't tell you how many people have made tons of lifelong friends just from the challenges alone. Okay, so I just wanted to leave you at that. Um, it is Sunday and, oh, I did have a few questions texted to me. So again, for those that do join the challenge, you can, if you're not on Facebook much, I will give you guys the option to throw a text at me. I will give you guys that information inside the uh, challenge portal. Again, the link is um, in the description. And if you have any questions, you can text me. I can't guarantee I'm gonna get, you, get back to you right away. It might be 24 to 48 hours, but I will get back to you. I'm pretty good about that. Now, the other option is, you, again, you can do this 100% alone on its own, okay? If this is the time you have, you have 10 to 15 minutes, just do this on your own. I got you, Erica, I'm gonna get you in a second. Um, you can add a Tabata at the end, okay? What is a Tabata? It's, an, it's a hit type training. It's 20 seconds of hardcore exercise to 10 seconds of rest. A couple, we have lots of options, obviously, in Lauren's Playground. Uh, for those that are not in Lauren's Playground, it just means you literally can pick, you know, you can pick one extra. You can go jump rope, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You can swing, you can, you can do more swings if you're one of those people who just love swings. Um, you can work on planks in between. The, the, the main thing is don't overdo it if this is really a new path for you, okay? I can't tell you how many people jump in head first when they're just getting started and realize they kind of did a little too much. Don't be that person. Just do just enough to where you still feel good uh, the rest of the day. Don't fry your central nervous system. I highly recommend for those that are brand new, go for walks after. Walk your body, do mobility, move. Um, lots of options for mobility. Um, you can even try one of my free featured workouts in, you'll find it in the homepage under featured workouts. I've got some, some free workouts that you can do in addition to this if you'd like more, okay? Um, my playground people, I do recommend check out the Tabata uh, section. And my premium members who can come to my live classes almost every day, both via Zoom, or in person, we are gonna incorporate this into our <coughs> sessions next week, okay? So if you can only make it two times, you'll do two of these on your own. So get these printouts. Um, let me go through some of the questions. Thank you. I'm gonna go through these. Can we mix up the pushes and pulls? Debbie's asking, like two sets of push-ups and two sets of presses, a variety on the same day, or do the same and do a different exercise the next day? You can. However, I am really recommending if you truly want to get good at one exercise, I'm almost asking you to put all your eggs in one basket, just for four weeks. I know it's so tough. We get so kind of bored. Here's the thing. You might be doing that in a different program, Debbie. Say, for example, you're already doing presses somewhere else. Pick one thing you really want to see an incredible improvement on and just focus that for the next four weeks, because we get three things to focus on. We get the push, we get the pull. Try to just pick one push, if you can. Okay, again, you can, you can totally do that. You're just not gonna see the profound results that we're looking for, okay? Hopefully that helps. Um, Erica, what does that mean, keep the exact same progression? So I kind of just answered this. So for example, if you choose push-ups, against say a 24 inch box, okay, so say, see, as you can see that shows 24 inches, and say right now you can maybe get five perfect ones at a time, okay? Do not change it, so just because you can get five today, tomorrow you might be able to get seven fabulous, or, or you do it in different sets as we've discussed. By week two, it might feel a lot easier instead of going down, okay, for week two, the reps are going up. 
So I want you to just get more reps in that same progression, if you can stand it. Because by the end, the reps are at its all-time highest, and that's when you're actually going to test. And I will, I'm going to give some testing suggestions as we get through the challenge, because on day 16, on that fourth week, I don't want you to be burnt out. I want you to be ready to test. That's when you're going to see if you can go to the lower, lowest section and see what your 1RM um, is, when what your 1 rep max. Okay, so today your 1 rep max might be, and I'm again, 1 rep, you can start. Okay, so maybe you can just get 1 here, 1, 1, 1, great. But we don't, just like I said, we don't want to start with our 1 rep max, because then you're going to burn out. So you're going to have to go a little higher, or something you can do at least three to five reps with. Okay, and so you're going to stick to that progression that doesn't burn you out. So then when we get to test day, you go back to here. This might actually feel even easier because of all the practice that you've been doing. And then, of course, with the mobility, and I also know you are doing B-slam too. So because you are doing B-slam, you know, make sure that you do the extra mobility and make sure you don't change your progression until the end. Then once you're finished with this, if you love this program, you take a few days off and then you can do it again with a new progression. Does that make sense? So every four weeks, your, your progression is going to get harder and harder. All right. It's just an experiment uh, that has seemed to work on hundreds and hundreds of people. Everybody's different. If you find that you're just like wildly strong in two weeks and you're like, homo holy crap, I can do 30 of those all at once, then go ahead and we'll make that um, educated switch and lower your and uh, make your progression harder even though the reps are going up. We do have to keep that in mind, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to check to see if there's any other questions. Okay, so does anybody have any other questions? If not, I'm going to just give you guys a big happy, happy Sunday. And cool, I'm glad you got it. Um, the other thing, so get in. I'm closing registration tomorrow. So like I said, even if you're not starting tomorrow, get on in. If you have a question, go ahead and um, you can ask in the Facebook group. Uh, the Facebook group is called Lauren Brooks Fitness Challenge. I'll actually leave this in the comments once the live is over. So thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited, Melissa. Yeah, we've got uh, about 450 people who've signed up. Um, and I have a feeling that we're going to have at least another 100 come in today because usually people like to get in at the last minute. So this is not our biggest challenge. Uh, for the squat challenge, we, have about, we had about 1,000 people. So, but we also have a lot of this. We this challenge is also floating around for free, um, that not inside the portal, but you don't get the tracking sheets. So this is the big thing. And I'm telling you, we have those type A people that like to write everything down and who love their notes. I know Erica loves to write everything down. It is, I love that skill, and I'm going to be that person this time, okay? Because I like to start writing things down, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. And then after a while, I'll just go ahead and do it and not write it down. This time, guys, I'm committing to you. I'm committing to myself. I'm going to write this down, and we're going to go for the next four weeks together, and we're going to have a lot of fun and see some great results. And on that test day, our uh, one RM is going to be better than it was before. That's all that matters. We're just going to move the needle in the right direction. We're going to get our bodies moving. We're going to feel good. We're going to have fun. All right, guys. Happy Saturday. Nope, it's happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And uh, love you guys. Can't wait to see you this week. Take care. Bye.